يلا يلا يا اخوانا يلا يا الله شوف يا اخواني شو شو شوفي شوفي يلا يا رجال يلا يا رجال يلا Okay, the work was double today. If they ask, we found nothing. Nothing, Doctor. I can't believe it, Hassan. This could be the discovery of a lifetime. Remember, Hassan, six o'clock. Fishawi. Inshallah, Doctor. Hi, uh, hi. You here for Dr. Leonard? Well, so am I, and I don't see him anyway. Stop the cab. It must be John Ruby. Who are you? Didn't your father tell you? Tell me what? I'm Karen Lacey, the winner of the fellowship. My dad in his letter just told me he'd meet me here. Uh, then good luck. I've been here for three hours. I'm not gonna waste my first day in Cairo hanging around the airport. But you're welcome to stay if you'd like. Thank you. Hey. Wait up. How old are you? 
15. Yeah, right. How old are you? 17. Looks like we'll be working together. Looks like you'll be working with my father. I'm not into broken pottery. Broken pottery? Your father's close to discovering the greatest archaeological treasure. Yeah, I know. He's been close to discovering it for years. Yes, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. You looking for a taxi? Salam give you the best tour in Cairo. That's a taxi? Yes, sure. Yeah, how much? No problem, no problem with money, never, whatever you like. We go to Citadel, we go to Pyramid, Memphis, everywhere. 100 pounds, okay, good? Yeah. Okay, welcome, welcome to Isha. Get him, please. Are you sure this cabbie's all right? Relax, Johnny. Haven't you ever been to a city before? It's John. So, what brings you to Cairo? I was chosen from among 500 American high school students to receive a fellowship to participate in an ongoing archaeological excavation beneath the pyramids at the... We're going on a dig. Aha, archaeology. Good. For business or pleasure? Business. Pleasure. Ah. Cigarette? Take a cigarette. No, thanks. Please, take one. Come on. I don't smoke. Take one. It's good. It's Kilobatra. Go to east, go to west. Kilobatra is the best. <laughs> uh, to the to hotel, please. Thank you. been too long. Dr. Bennett, what brings you to Egypt? I thought you were teaching elementary hieroglyphics in Poughkeepsie. Actually, I've been teaching advanced hieroglyphics in elementary school in Poughkeepsie. But there's no need to dig up ancient history, even though that's part of our job now, isn't it? I'm here for the papyrus. News travels fast in Cairo. Congratulations, you sly devil. You found it first. Well, I'm not surprised. You were always the brightest student in the class. Always had a gift for Egyptology. But there was a time when we discussed finding it together. Remember? I had nothing to do with your exile from Egypt. That decision was made by the Supreme Council. You turned me in. You gave me no choice. You were stealing antiquities from our dig. Stealing is such a harsh word, Eric. As an archaeologist, one has to spend half his life on his knees, brushing, 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 brushing away the sands of time. For what reason? Why? To give the museums of the world tickets for tourists? But I feel I've done my part in that regard. I'm entitled to a little personal souvenir now and again. Tell me, where's the papyrus? It belongs in the hands of the Department of Antiquities, where it can be carefully studied. Where is it, Eric? I don't know. No, of course you don't. You've misplaced it somewhere. Perhaps this will help to refresh your memory. So nice to see you again, Eric. Welcome, welcome to the beautiful Cairo. Yeah, I can handle it. Okay, no problem. Just remember, hire Salam for everywhere in Cairo. You can carry your own bag now. Wow, this is where Dr. Leonard is staying? Cool. Thanks, I can take it. How much? How much? Ah, uh, for you, my friend, 150. 
What? 150? You gotta be kidding me. What? What, my friend? You think Egyptian money is worth as much as your American? Come on! Tell me which way more. Pound of feather or pound of lead? Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, I have no record for your check-in. Do you have a reservation? Yes, Dr. Len Hart. It's Eric Leonard. I'm Karen Lacey, and that's John Roby. What's the matter? Give me your passport. Hey, where'd you get your manners? A hockey game? As a matter of fact, I was leaving score in my junior league. Please have a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. This is Salam. I have delivered the packages to the hotel. Good. Return to base. We have someone on the way. Mish. Shukran Ahmad. Ahmad. You didn't finish your lunch. You spoiled my appetite. Such a shame that our relationship is disintegrated into this, Eric. Well, have you decided to tell us where it is and spare yourself a great deal of pain? You're an archaeologist. You find it. I will, Eric. Believe me, I will. Scorpion, you've met my dick director. We call him Scorpion because he simply adores these deadly little creatures. He's kept them as pets ever since he was a child. He developed a remarkable tolerance for their venom. The question is, have you changed your mind? We'll see. Even if you find the papyrus, do you understand what it means and where it leads to? Yes, I do, Eric. It leads to glory. Lots of glory. And lots of gold. <laughs> Get him off of me! Get him off of me! Stop it! Fair it's at the Windsor Hotel. It's in my trunk. You made the right decision, Eric. I'm proud of you. Yalla. If Dr. Leonard isn't here, I figure we'll have time to go to the pyramids. Is he always this late? Well, let's just get something straight. I came here to see my father. I don't want to go see any pyramids. Fine, you'll stay here. What happened to your diary? You fall in the toilet? It's papyrus meathead. A paper the Egyptians use made from the leaves of reeds that grow along the Nile. It's my archaeologist's field journal. Really? Cool. Where are you going? How much do I have for the cab? Well... It was uh, 150 Egyptian pounds, so 75 pounds. You just got taken for 50 pounds. Where are you going? Let's find that market we passed. Excuse me. I was just treated by a cabbie. Uh, Who was that one? Start... Who was that? What's the matter? Where's my dad? Dr. Leonard has not returned to pay his bill. This is against hotel policy. Not return. Where did he go? Hudu. Hey! Hey! Hey, what's going on? Mom, mom, doing? I'm all right. I'm in Cairo. I just want to leave a message. For making a collect call, there has to be someone home. But she's on her cell phone. Joan Robbie. Huh? Come with me, young man. Welcome to Cairo, welcome to Egypt. 
I have very nice, very nice things. Okay, five pounds for the green one. Five pounds? No, I take no less than 15 for this quality. Well, that's for tours. I'll do it for six. Six. Ten. Deal. Okay, very nice. Hey, Thank hey, you. madam. I have, I have my leg. No, 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 Okay, eight pounds. Okay, eight pounds. Eight pounds. It's funny, Dr. Leonard, a respected American archaeologist, would turn into a fugitive over a hotel bill. Father's not a fugitive. And it's just as funny that you do not share the same name as your father. It's not funny. It's my mom's name. We took it after they broke up. As chairman of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, it's my job to defend and protect the treasures of Egypt. Dr. Ninard may have discovered an object of significance to my country. He was supposed to meet his dig director last night. He never showed. Look, Dr. Camel. My name is Gamal, please. Gamal, try it. Whatever. I don't even know where the pyramids are, all right? So if you're looking for antiques, you got the wrong person. Antiquities. Antiquities. And I hope you're right, Johnny. It's John. Whatever. Just be aware of what they sometimes do to thieves in some parts of this world, Johnny. You may go for the time being. May I strongly suggest that you stay put in your hotel. There are many people willing to do anything just to lay a hand on that papyrus. Bye-bye, Johnny. This marketplace where they have the coolest galabays. I don't care about any galabays. You just left me here. Left you? What am I, your babysitter? The police came. They took me to the Department of Antiques. <laughs> they had guns. The Department of Antiquities? They were looking for my father. Your father? Where is he? Where are you going? be home. Your parents must have made a great couple. I can just picture their first date. They both said there'd be some place and neither showed up. Something I said? Come in, please come in. Welcome. Welcome, Adam uh, Dr. Leonard's room. Oh, before. I'm sorry. It was hotel policy. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Cool retro trunk. Hey. Wow. Either your dad's a slob or someone's been looking through his stuff. I don't, I don't know. He's always in some weird place digging. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, check this out. His field journal. That's it. Some old diary. Yeah, like a day old. Amazing discovery. Uncovered scorpion papyrus at the pyramids. Have it hidden nearby. Tomorrow the path to Ramsey's scared begins. Great. He took out to find some dude named Ramsey's. Some dude? Excuse me? Ramsey II was like the greatest dude ever to have walked the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Past tense. Walked. Didn't your father tell you anything? Every fair was buried with a sacred scarab. Like this? It's supposed to bring good luck. So far, it isn't working. Yeah, well, Ramsey wasn't so lucky either. He had a scarab just like that, only his was sacred. When he died, it had to be wrapped with his mummy. It was like his ticket to the afterlife. Yeah, and when he died, someone stole it. <laughs> Not just someone, an ancient band of thieves. They robbed his tomb after his burial, leaving behind their signature. The Scorpion Papyrus. 
Whoever deciphers the map in that papyrus could get their hands on the lost treasure of the greatest king in history. Ramsey makes King Tut look like a yuppie. <laughs> you were cute. What happened? That picture was taken three years ago. Last time I saw my dad. You just said you came here to see your father, not meet him. He's been kind of busy. Well, let's get going. We only have seven hours and 52 minutes of light left. Go where? The pyramids. You heard what your father's journal said. The papyrus is hidden nearby. Go ahead. I'm staying in the hotel where it's safe. I guess I'm on my own, then. I guess so. Fine. Stay here and rot. What? I want a trip to Egypt, and I'm going to have my trip to Egypt if it kills me. Don't say that. Here one goes there. What does he think? I have four eyes? Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Where is it? It's in the doctor's room. Please, please. please. What please. number? I cannot tell you that. It's against the policy. Now, please, remove the scorpion. Please, please. Okay, it's in room 27. Sleep tight. And by all means, let the bed bugs bite by bite. Virus is gone. Pirates. Somebody's been in here. Your friend with the journal, Henrietta Karen Lacey, 16. 16. Hmm. Henrietta? 16. John Ruby, 15. 15. Hmm. 
I must say, Eric's really scraping the dregs from research assistants these days. Well, old bug, I think it's time for a trip to the pyramids. The little monsters won't talk. We'll simply stuff them in a box with Dr. Lennon. That's about it. Where do you want to go? To, to, to the pyramids. Step on it. Excuse me? The, the pyramids. You understand English? Yes, I understand English. Do you understand speed? Whoa! Can't you get this thing to go any faster? Who do you think I am? The genie of the lamb? Look out! Whoa! I love speed. Be around here somewhere. I can smell them. Perhaps that's you. Never mind, let's go this way. Why don't you run the whole country over? You said faster! Hey, you must pay fare! I already paid from the airport. Twice. What about the tour? Didn't you like my driving? Come on! Look at the hassle! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, man, what's up? Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I, I thought you were my son. Right? Like post colonial bonehead. The biggest one. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Sorry to bother you. Have you seen this young girl? No, I haven't. What about this young man? No, oh, sorry, man. to get closer to the sun. Karen. The principal of all life, god of the gods, father of the pharaoh. The, the, the guy at the hotel. They killed him. They tore apart my dad's room. Oh, wait, slow down. Who did? The guy. At the hotel, he had a tattoo of a scorpion on his neck. Scorpion? Yes, a scorpion papyrus. My dad was right, there really is one. They were looking for it. There were two guys. They have my dad. They're looking for us. Where's the journal? Journal? Which journal? My dad's journal. It wasn't there. John? What? They found us. Keep climbing! Take a deep breath and go! I should have spent my summer in Minnesota. Come on. No, 
Switch into monkey mode. Time! You idiot! You let them get away! Now I know why they call you Scorpion. Your brain is exactly the same size! important excavation site in Egypt, and we just discovered the statues of Ramses II. Oh, stop them! No, 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 stop them! No, 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 stop them. no, 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 no you can't, you no, can't. No, no, you don't understand. I'm a doctor. This is an emergency. Those children need my immediate attention. They've contracted a highly contagious disease. They must be quarantined at once. No, 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 this is forbidden. Take him out. Be, be, be. No, no, no. We're in trouble now. All right, forget it! always like this bother us in our work. Let's get to that bus. Yeah, right behind you, Indy. personality who comes probably he wants money or something but I don't know really what he wants okay. <laughs>
are so hot. Tough guys. Birds have returned to the nest. Follow them. Find out if they have the papyrus, and for God's sake, keep your cool. Don't kill anyone. Go. Okay. It's the guy that threatened me. They must have traced us here. Exactly as you listed down. I want to know what in the name of seven devils is going around here. Gamel. I want you to find these kids. And bring me that incompetent nitwit. Write it down. Ed, I'm a fiery man. Shoot the screen in Hamad. Ed, the guy in the right is a bit. I know a place we can go. Thanks, but we don't need any more of your so-called bargain salon. How much? No problem with money. Whatever you like. So, so why should I trust you? Hey, Ben. Why should I trust either of you? Because we're in this together now. Right, Sammy? One more thing. You don't find those kids. You are all history. Swine. How beautiful! You go to this hut. Five minutes, I follow you. Okay? Go! Come on! I don't trust it. Yeah, I don't know if I do either. But it was a logical choice. But we should find a hiding place for the journal. You stole it. Let's just say I borrowed it. 
I don't believe it. I trusted you. You wouldn't come with me. It's my father's. Give it to me. You can't even uh, read. Uh, Where? <sighs> just standing above. Hey, that guy looks pretty badass, huh? Yeah, it's Ramses II, a.k.a. the Great. A total badass. He ruled the Egyptian kingdom for 67 years. Who's that dog-faced guy on the scale? The god of burial, Anubis. Waiting to weigh Ramses' heart scare up against a feather. Sounds a little rigged. Yeah, but not the way you think. To pass the test, the scarab had to be as light as a feather. If it wasn't meant, Ramsey's heart was free of burden. So, like, what if he were a total jerk? You'd be blinded by a flash of light and go completely mad. Your pathetic spirit would rot in hell for all eternity. Ramsey's story was a little different, though. As a pharaoh, he was the son of Amon-Ra. If he failed to make it to the afterlife, it meant he was letting down his own father. But the scorpion thieves stole the scarab from Ramsey's mummy, so... Ramsey's soul has been on permanent pause for the last 3,000 years. And you thought it had been a long time since you saw your father? What's with these rays of light coming from the sun? These ones with little fingers on them. I don't know. But it says here that Ramsey's heart scarab is hidden in an ancient place. Elephantine. My dad's in trouble. We gotta get back to Cairo in the morning so we can hand the papyrus over to the police. Oh, and when those men find out that you gave the map to the police, what do you think they're gonna do to your dad? All you care about is getting your hands on Ramsey's scarab so you can be the first one who discovered it. Hey, if it wasn't for me, they would have already had the papyrus. And I bet you planned it all out that way, huh? Luck favors the prepared. My American friends, <laughs> you are very welcome here. My cousin Ahmed invites you to dinner. How far is it to Elephantine? 20 days, by camel. Uh, what about by train? 12 hours. I hope they have breakfast on this trip. What are you doing? I'm deciphering the hieroglyphics to figure out the map. I'll be back. Hello, Henrietta. The name's Karen. Sorry about that, Karen. So glad you stopped by my office. I'd like you to meet my longtime friend and companion, Mr. Scorpion. Alan. I don't know anything about any papyrus. So you know there is a papyrus? What else don't you know, Karen? I've been told that this one is particularly attracted to young girls. It loves to sting them to death. Leave her alone. I have what you want. Where is it? Where's my father? Oh, so you're Eric's son. You're quick. Very funny, Johnny. If you value your young friend's life, I strongly suggest you hand it over. Now. Here's the papyrus. <laughs> a 
Okay, where's my dad? I'm sorry, I, uh, I can't reveal that to you. At least not for the moment. Find these delightful young people some appropriate accommodations, won't you, Scorpion? Hey, we had a deal. Forget them. We've got to go. We're getting off at the next village. Let's see how our friend Eric is doing. What was that? Another one of your old hockey moves? Come on. What about my dad? Hey, what'd you do that for? What did I do that for? You're the bonehead who gave him the papyrus. I'm the one who saved you. I was fine without your help. Fine? You'd be scorpion bait by now. All you care about is finding that stupid treasure. We still have my journal. I copied the map on the train. If we get our hands on the scare before they do, we can ransom it for your father. Hey, camels. Welcome. Can I help you? Uh, Indian Gamble. Where do you want to go? Elephantine. Elephantine by Camel? No one been there in 3,000 years. So we got the right place. Ale! Jamalin, Billah! Jamalin! You think he's got an upset stomach? Two stomachs. He's heard of Elephantine. You think he's ever heard of Listerine? It's heavy. Oh, oh, go on, go on. Oh, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, my friends. Have a good trip. Who's that? He's your guide. You need him to get there. Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's far enough. Drop it right there. The Raha Sandu, hey, kiss it. Have a little respect. I've got a bad back. Now open it up. Well, hello, Eric. Enjoy the ride? You should have. You had your very own boxcar. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to Omar's table. Where are you are from? Uh, New Guinea. Well, we need transportation. No problem. We need money. How much? 300 pounds are coming. 300 pounds are camp. Have you lost your flipping mind? Up to you. Look I walk. That, Eric. We've got to keep moving. We need to get the Elephantine before nightfall. What do you need me for anyway? Oh, I need you, Eric. You're my witness, my credibility. Without you, the world may never believe that I fully realized my dream. Two cameras. Okay, huh? okay. It's my gift. But what about the guy in the box?
But you know, Eric, it's all a matter of DNA. I'm absolutely sure about it. Through my research, I've discovered that I am, in fact, descended from the pharaohs. I am the great, 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 great grandson of Ramses II. Give or take a great or two. The genealogy gets a bit muddled when you go back that far. What makes you so sure? My mummy told me. My DNA and his are precisely the same, and the DNA never lies. Scorpio first fell. What? 3000 BC. Scorpio very first fell. Oh, rubbish. We're not talking about pre-dynastic barbarians, idiot. We're talking about civilized kings. Get a hold of yourself, man. Scorpion, the pharaoh scorpion, was a pre-dynastic baboon. Who knows? Maybe you guys are long lost brothers after all. Speaking of DNA, there's some of yours right now. Uh, how about that? Maybe they know something you don't, huh? I don't think so. Remember, I've got the papyrus. Care to see it, Eric? Right, that's enough. I took them to my cousin Ahmed. You happy? You're lucky they are alive. They wanted to go to Elephantine. What can I do? Salam, where are they now? I don't know. I put them on the train. They didn't get off. You find them, Salam, and now, or your history. What? 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 Salam. What? I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Salam. You're our guide? My mama's nephew. My name's Ali. Can I get you some water? Yeah, thanks. We drink in honor of Ramses the Greatest. Thanks. You've heard of Ramses? Heard of him. He's the greatest dude that ever lived. This whole place is named after him. If it weren't for him, Egypt would have been slaves to the Hittites. Slaves? When Ramses was young, his father died, and the Hittites attacked Hope and catch the young pharaoh off guard. But Ramses put together an army and headed into the desert to meet them. Only he was betrayed by enemy spies and ambushed near this oasis. What did he do? He charged straight at them, breaking their chariot lines and throwing their ranks into confusion. As the Hittite army retreated, they were swallowed by a sea of quicksand. The story was thought to be a myth until a few years ago when archaeologists discovered armor and bones buried in the sand not far from here. The emblems on the shields were of the Hittites. A sandstorm? I appreciate your paternalistic concern, Eric. But don't worry. They're industrious little creatures. They'll survive. And then again, maybe they won't. Care for a drink, Eric? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, old boy. I forgot about you. You know, this is bottled water, and I would like to freshen up a bit. Oh, yeah. It should pass in an hour.
to the top of the sand dune and see what's on the other side. They have my dad. At least you know he's alive. Yeah, but I blew it handing over the papyrus on the train. You have a papyrus? Scorpion papyrus? You know about it? I've heard stories of it growing up. Do you know what these rays of lights mean? The ones right here with these little fingers. They refer to the miracles of the sun. The miracle, the miracle of the sun? A tabu symbol. Ramsey's greatest temple. The sun will reveal Ramses' lost treasure to whoever places his carob on the scale against his heart feather. When's the next miracle of the sun? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first day of spring. The sun revealing... It's not about Ramsey's treasure. It's about Ramsey's ka. Ramsey's ka? He's right. Uh, the sun striking the scale creates a, a bridge between earth and heaven. Like a golden road for Ramsey's ka, his soul, to travel on. Then we better get to Elephantine and get the scare before Benta so we can ransom it off for my father. Let's get moving. Come on. We've been going in circles. According to the papyrus, we should have been there by now. Give me the compass. <coughs> well, get it, you fool. No, 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 no. No, don't dig so hard, you're burying deeper. No, idiot. It's gone. And so are you, my friend. Easy on him. You don't need a compass. You only need the sun. Put your parasol in the sand. Right. Two degrees north. Come on. This is where I go. My uncle will be worried. You're afraid? No one who ever went in after that scarab came out alive. And if I died, my uncle would kill me. Here. Please, I cannot accept. Why not? Well, my Egyptian ancestors built Ramses' tomb with their bare hands. If you can return Ramses' treasure, that is payment enough. Well, how will you get back? The rays of light in the drawing. They leave the sun in angles, like a compass. Thank you. Masalem. Masalama. favors the prepared, huh?
The sail's already broken. Someone's been here. What if Ollie was right? About nobody getting out alive? Guess I'll be the first to find out. No, you'll be the first to find out. Just a bunch of scorpions. They must be relatives of scorpion. I thought we had a map. We do. I think we're right here. This must be the cave of safe passage. Safe passage? Are you sure you got the names right? Yeah, I had to guess a little bit. It's okay. I only did it a couple of times. Come on. Ladies first. Chess? Backgammon? Senate. The favorite game of Egyptian pharaohs. They left Ramsey's wife, Queen Nefertari, guarding the door. You're the hockey pro. What do we do? Win the game. Be careful. Huh? Highly complicated game. Question is, in order to win, do you need luck or do you need skill? Dad! Personally, I happen to think you need a little of both. You children will have to step aside. This game is rated PG-13. Oh. Hey, Johnny. I go by John. Let me out of these ropes. Very touching. A real Kodak moment. How do we win? Just relax, Camel Brain. I want to savor this experience. I've been waiting for it all my life. Oh. You know, there's an old Arabic saying, Beth. Don't catch your chickens till they've hatched. I prefer the adage, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the rooster.
I'm Broken Seals. Scorpion, you may be the first in your family to make it through. Inshallah. Play now. Yeah, don't play. The pieces are different now. The whole game is different. How do I know it's going to work? You don't. Hello? What are you doing, Scorpion? What's going on up there? Karen, trust yourself. Make a move. Come on, put the puck in the net. Play. Play. First one's in. I mean, this is what it all comes down to. The papyrus, the dead hotel manager, climbing the pyramids. We need to call the police and let them handle this problem. A good archaeologist never gives up. Hey, hey, Scorpion! Let him go. It's okay. Sharing light here, it might be a clue. Hey, you guys, come take a look at this. Scorpion, please, get me out of here. Throw me a rope. You owe me. Don't forget, it was I who saved your life more than once. If it weren't for me, you'd be rotting away in some filthy prison cell. Who paid off your ex-wives? Not to mention the judge and the parole officer. I've saved your life more than once. Now it's your turn to save mine. Now get me out of here. Throw me a rope. Please. This was Ramsey's ticket to the afterlife. Don't touch it. It could be booby trapped. Surprise! Huh? <laughs> I'd like to meet my friend Felix. Let him go! Bent? Go ahead. If he kills me, you'll have nothing else to bargain with. Very sensible, Karen. Thank you, Felix. Good job. Oh. Right. We're off. It's a once-in-a-lifetime discovery. You may hold it, but we found it. You won't get away with this. Come on, kids. Run to the authorities. We'll see about that. Why'd you give it to him? I never thanked you for saving me on the train. John Karen, come on. I wouldn't miss having your father with me for the world. We'll think of you while we're sipping tea at the old cataract. Ta-ta, celeb. Yeah! Well, see you in the year 3000. Help! Here, open up! We're stuck. Come on, let's go. There's got to be a secret passageway out. <laughs> what was that? It was a bat. Are you sure? Yeah. Come on, let's go this way.
Karen. John. Karen, the door. Karen, come on. Oh. Come on. We have to get back to the old cataract. That's Luca. Come on. Wait. Stop. Hurry up. Come on. John, maybe we should get some help. Thought you were the one who never needed anyone's help. I think we've gotten in over our heads. Came here to spend some quality time with my father. I'm gonna spend it if it kills me. He's counting on me. The old cataract! It's a hotel? Let's get dressed. Huh? Huh? Hello again. You don't scare me. I'm sure I don't. You have nothing to fear but fear it itself. To the wedding. We'll miss you at the party. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for my father, Dr. Uh, Bent. Dr. Bent? Room 126. your research partner. Dr. Eric Leonard. Hi. We gotta get the scarab. Bent has it. He's our map. Here, put this on. Good. Oh. <laughs> the boat is ready when you find one. No, no, not yet. Load the crates. Okay. Stay down. I'm 
going with him. What? I have to. I've been dreaming about this since I was your age. If the artifacts aren't removed properly, there's a chance we could lose any knowledge that could have been gained from it. Look, call the Department of Antiquities. Dad, there's no way. Okay, let's do it. Hey, but Dad! Just couldn't resist the temptation, eh, Eric? Didn't want to miss the discovery of Ramsey's treasure, even if I can't have it. One can only dream of so much gold. Seeing the miracle of the sun for the first time in 3,000 years. It's one reason why we're in it. That's the reason you're in it. I'm here to make sure that the antiquities are preserved so we can learn something from them and continue to learn something from them long after we've turned to dust. Oh, don't be so high and mighty with me, Eric. When push comes to shove, we're both scalawags. You practice thievery in the name of archaeology. I practice archaeology in the name of thievery. But there's a difference. It's my destiny, Eric. I've been sent by the gods to fulfill a personal mission. Call it family business. You're under a lot of pressure, Doctor. I know what this means to you, but I can help you. How? After this is all over, I'll testify on your behalf before the Supreme Council. They could be lenient. And what would you say to them? That I didn't really mean to be such a meanie? That Dr. William Bent is just a little bent? No, thank you, Eric. I'd rather rot. Give it some time. I'm sure Allah will help you. The sun will be rising soon. If you're coming, let's get aboard. I'm going with him. I'm coming, too. No. This means a lot to my father. I want in on this. Call the authorities. What authorities? Dad, I'm going with you. You're a persistent little brat, aren't you? You take after your father. You're welcome to join us, Johnny. But sit there and keep your mouth shut or I'll feed you to the crocodiles. Just kidding. What about the Department of Antiquities? I sent Karen for help. Good to have you here. John. Me. There's no time to explain. Let me be the first to wish you a happy spring. Dad. <laughs> Not that I didn't care. I've just been looking in the wrong place. 
Look at it. Stay down. It's there. The treasure is there. At your service. Congratulations on a miraculous discovery, Dr. Leonard. Thank you, Swarm. But I had some help. A lot of help. You, you two know, know each other? other? Of course. I work for the Department of Antiquities. You mean you're not a cab driver? Secret Agent Salam. I've been following you since you arrived. We nearly got killed ten times over. Nearly. Nearly killed. Right back here, guys. Dr. Gamel. John. Dr. Leonard. Gamel. How are you? Good to see you. Where's it? It's over there! Oh, hello. What can I do? This is no way to treat an archaeologist. And this is no way to treat a pharaoh. Gamel. Not to worry. I'll appeal. You've dug your own sarcophagus. Now you line it. You'll be sorry, Doctor. Osiris will punish you. You can't touch me. I am Seth. I am Nephthys, guardian of the underworld and all great kings. Come to me, Nadu, Nenet, Nun, Nunet. Kick, kick it! Save me, Otten! Save me! The only thing that's going to save him is a prison psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Ramses' treasure? It's right there. Oh, yes. Right there. You're right, son. See you, Ramses. Yeah, inshallah. Okay, guys. Goodbye. Ma salama. Ma salama. Yes. Ma salama. So, where's the next adventure? 
I don't know, Australia? Thank you. 